Hey guys, this is Tab from Freefly. Uh, so we just got done setting up the stiffness in the gimbal. We're going to move into configuring the majestic, the various majestic modes, which is our single operator mode um, that allows you to control the Movi without the need for the remote operator or the remote controller. So anytime the remote controller is turned off, the system defaults to majestic mode to allow the the person holding the Movi to have complete control of it. Um, so let's run through the, the different parameters that we can adjust to achieve uh, the type of uh, look and feel that we need. Um, the first thing up is pan smoothing. This parameter controls how much smoothing the system puts on your pans. So the default setting is somewhere around 5. If I take it up to 25 just to show an extreme example, I'm going to pull it off. So you can see I can pan the handles a lot before the Movi starts to follow me. It's extremely smooth and it's got a lot of ease in and ease out on the move. Uh, this allows for very, very precise framing. Uh, if you want to shoot long lens or you need to really do subtle or delicate moves, you can run that smoothing figure up a little higher and it'll allow you to, you know, be moving around aggressively with the, with the Movi and still have very nice and smooth pans. Um, to show the opposite effect, I'll take this down to a setting of two. And you can see it applies much less smoothing now. It's following my pans much more actively, uh, much more precisely. So there's a whole range of uh, sm pan smoothing that you can use to achieve various looks and feels. The next parameter that we need to look at is pan window. So what this one does is it, it dictates how much I can move the handles before the Movi will start to move with me. So right now it's set to 10 degrees. We'll run that up to 40, 30 degrees just as an example. So this is an extreme setting where I can move I can move 30 degrees on the handles before it starts to follow me. So once I get outside that window, it starts to go with me. But I've got a whole range in here where I can do whatever I want with the handles and the system will just stabilize. So large settings like that, um, large pan window settings, are useful for circumstances where you want to be able to retain control of the panning for reframing, but when you're not doing that, you want it to stabilize perfectly. So Example would be the follow cam, chase cam, say you're snowboarding after somebody, you know that you need to be able to reframe, but when you're not reframing, you want the stabilization to be rock solid. A setting like that would be helpful. On the flip side, um, so you want it to be very active in a very small window. I've set it to three there, so it's only three degrees that I can move the handles before it'll start to follow me. So you can see it keeps right up with me. Only three degrees. So I can only move a very small amount before it starts to follow me. So you can, you can do all kinds of combinations of these smoothing and window uh, options to get the desired effect on panning and tilting. Tilt mode is the next option. Right now it's in smooth lock. Uh, to explain what smooth lock does, basically we can set the camera tilt manually to any angle we want and it'll maintain that tilt. And stabilize. So it's it's useful for some circumstances where you need to adjust that manually and then continue the shot, readjust, that kind of thing. The other option would be to go to Majestic Angle, which applies the same type of uh, algorithms and techniques that we use on the pan axis, but to the tilt axis too. So I can control the tilt just by moving the handles, just like we did with uh, the pan axis. And <clears throat> The tilt has the same options that pan does as far as smoothing and window. So we can play with those two settings and get the tilt to feel exactly how we need it to feel for the particular lens and shot that we're trying to pull off. Um, so that's an overview of how Majestic Mode works, how we can tune it to suit a variety of needs. And uh, just a quick run through. Um, obviously, you want to play with it and change, change the settings and try all different kinds of settings for different types of shots, different lenses, and get a good feel for it. Thanks. Thanks.